The greatest deception that this world has ever seen is so great, I don't even know if it's possible for us to wrap our heads around it. Ten minutes will not do it justice, an hour wouldn't. This probably won't be a ten minute video. I'll say what I can to explain to people what we're going through, what happened, and how twisted it really is. What Christians believe today is the same thing that the unbelieving Jews believed in the first century. That's actually where they come from. This Christianity comes from those that were left behind. Everything in the Bible already happened. Jesus did a short work on the earth. He fulfilled everything. He delivered everything back to the Father. Today's Jesus is fake, evil spirit. The Holy Spirit, fake, evil spirit, the opposite of what the real Jesus was. Therefore, if Jesus was good, and this is the opposite, then it's evil. See, the real Christians knew that they were going into an everlasting kingdom in heaven. They knew that great was their reward in heaven, and that in the ages to come, they would have eternal life. And guess what? They're not here. They knew what was going on, but the unbelieving Jews, they thought that it would be a kingdom on earth, like Christians think today. And look what happened to them. They fought over the temple. They thought the people in the temple were the Messiah and that he was going to have a kingdom here. And they rejected Jesus Christ and were destroyed by Christ. Now, after everything in the Bible came to pass, everything was fulfilled. The people that were left behind said, oh my God, Jesus was the Messiah, but it was too late. The door was already shut. He delivered everything back to the Father. He received a new name that nobody knows. That's what the Bible says. And then these wicked men that were left behind and couldn't wrap their heads around the fact that they were left behind, they took over his name and made this false religion that is the exact opposite of what real Christianity was in every single way. Every belief they have is the opposite. They have this Holy Spirit where they say, I was baptized by fire. What are you talking about? That verse literally means that Jesus would baptize some with the Holy Spirit and some with hell. Your Holy Spirit is welling up in you and saying, I was baptized by fire. I was baptized by hell. They say precept must be upon precept and precept upon precept and line upon line. That was saying that the people that did not receive the Holy Spirit and stammering lips and another tongue would he speak unto this people because the word of the Lord was unto them law upon law, line upon line, rule upon rule, that they might fall backward, be broken, snared, and taken. Again, the opposite. Precept upon precept was not a good thing. It was for the people that rejected the Holy Spirit. They're saying a new temple will be built. This is what their Holy Spirit is telling them. Jesus said not one stone in that temple would stand upon another, and he destroyed that temple. He said that generation wouldn't pass, and they're looking for a new generation. They're calling an Israel that doesn't believe in God. They're calling them the children of God. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. They reject him. They're sitting here talking about parables all the time. Oh, I love parables. Parables are just so great. Parables were to the people who were without because they could not understand. Not a good thing. They say the Antichrist is making a covenant with people. The Antichrist, he's confirming the covenant, and it's going to be seven years. What are you talking about? That was talking about Jesus Christ confirming the covenant. Your Holy Spirit tells you that that's talking about the Antichrist. You have the biggest religion, the most money, the most powerful armies. You have the whole time. Re this Christianity, the way that it got here, this is just a fact of history. I'm not talking bad about any single peoples or anything. I'm saying the way that it got here was through war, tyranny, and genocide. Killing with the sword, the opposite of what Christ was. His kingdom was not of this world, but you guys own the kingdom of the world. The unbelieving Jews believe that Jesus didn't end sin. You tell people that Jesus ended sin today, they say, no, he didn't. Those letters in the New Testament, they were simple letters written to living people. The New Testament says the New Testament's not written in ink, but you've got a New Testament written in ink. How does that happen? After they were left behind, guess what they did? Since they didn't have the Holy Spirit, the laws of God inside of them, the New Testament, and they wanted to keep the Old Testament in the law, they gathered up the writings of the apostles and made them into a law book because it's the only thing they knew how to do because they didn't have the law of God inside of them because the Holy Spirit had already left. 45,000 denominations, millions of people, and I was one of them. And whenever I was a Christian, I saw this fake Jesus in dreams and prophecies and visions. I saw him hundreds of times. That's not the real Jesus. The real Jesus said he was going away and would not talk with them much. And then there's only about five times that he ever appeared to anybody in the New Testament, put together, all the apostles put together. But somehow Christians today, they see this fake Jesus millions of times, millions of them daily. He comes to everybody, tells them, I mean, nothing he says ever comes to pass. The rapture doesn't happen, not decades ago, not now, not now, not now, not now, not now, not now. And nobody cares that they're all false prophets and giving false prophecies in his name. Nobody cares, but they're seeing him all the time. They say Jesus is God. Do you know what son of God claimed to be God? Satan. You know what Jesus did? He gave up his own will, not to do his own will, but his father's will. Now you guys take Jesus and put him in the place 
where Satan was saying that Jesus is God. A red heifer needs to be sacrificed. That's for cleansing under the law. Jesus was that sacrifice. Saying a red heifer needs to be sacrificed is blasphemy. How is your Holy Spirit the opposite of what the real Holy Spirit was? Gentiles never had the scriptures of the prophets, but what are they doing now? Gentiles are reading the law and the prophets, going back to the law and the prophets to reject Jesus Christ who fulfilled the law and the prophets. Jesus came after the temple was built and said, not one stone will stand upon another. You guys go back to Solomon's temple being destroyed whenever it prophesied about a new temple being built hundreds of years before Christ, and you say, a new temple has to be built. What? The Revelation 12 sign was the birth of Jesus Christ. It was Jesus being born. Herod trying to kill all the babies to kill Jesus. Satan trying to devour the child as soon as it was born. But the child was caught up to the throne of the God and he would rule the nations with a rod of iron. You guys are saying that that sign is just now happening. Do you know what that means? That means Jesus was never born. The reason that Christians believe the opposite is because they get their doctrine. Real Christianity ended in 70 AD. Jesus finished his work. We have God today. But they get their doctrine from the people that were left behind that did not believe. We should be worshiping God today. Give me a follow. I've got plenty of videos explaining this. I'm probably going to make a longer version of this. Put it on my YouTube.